Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This video, we're gonna be talking about inheritance. Now we've touched on it and we've seen it throughout the series, but this is the dedicated video. So I hope you guys are excited and learn a bunch. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. The whole idea behind inheritance is that oftentimes we're going to create classes that we can steal some information from other classes. And there's ultimately an inheritance hierarchy, which is basically the structure of which classes inherit from which classes. And at the root, we have this object. So this object class defines various things that are going to be inherited. We talked about it earlier. For example, if we invoke toString, this method is inherited from object. So that's some of the inheritance that's baked in, but we can also do custom inheritance. So let's say we're making an education app and we have teachers and we have students. Well, there's a lot in common between students and teachers. One, they're both humans. Two, yeah. I, th I think that's about it. But we can put the common things in a base class is the keyword. These are known as derived classes up here. And we could just call it user. Now, this is an app, which is why I'm calling it user. If you wanna just represent real life, you might call it person or whatever. And here we can define common things, such as first name, last name, maybe a couple methods such as study or work or talk, whatever it might be. These are automatically going to be given to the student and teacher if we inherit from user. So then the inheritance hierarchy is going to be more like this. So user ultimately inherits from object and these inherit from user. So tons of stuff is just getting passed down to these child classes, the derived classes. So that's the basis of inheritance and it really makes our lives a lot easier when we need to structure a lot of different things that have things in common. Another example you might hear is animal and then a dog and a cat. A dog and a cat have a lot in common. They both walk, they both eat, they both poop. Uh, that's pretty much it. So we could define those behaviors inside of animal and then just inherit those. That way we don't have to copy the same code and put it in two different places. We just put it in one place and have it inherited by inheriting from animal. So hopefully that's a good introduction. We're gonna get into how to do this in code. So I'm hoping you guys are excited. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. Peace out. Oh, yeah.